Good evening. Over the past 10 years in particular, Belfast has built up a massive reputation as regards having outstanding street art. Now I'm not talking about sectarian stuff, I'm talking about street art. Uh, like an example over here on the right hand side. Um, large uh, pieces of street art uh, decorate and many of the gable walls around the city centre and beyond. And they're not just painted by local street artists, of which there are quite a few, and very talented they are too, but um, a lot of these pieces have been painted by international street artists. And I have tried to um, keep a record of a lot of this uh, street art because it does come and it does go. Uh, pieces get weather beaten, uh, pieces get painted over and um, they're subsequently lost. So my channel is full of Belfast street art and I'm not being, being big headed when I say it is probably more uh, examples of, of outstanding Belfast street art than any other channel that you're going to come across. But here I'm looking up High Street and I'm going to list for you now maybe 10 pieces or so of iconic street art and this one I'm looking at Google Maps here and this one up here is prominent. It's the chef and it's as I say in High Street it's three stories high so it's not a small piece and it's by Australian artist Smug. That's his tag name. And it was painted back in 2016. This piece here is called The Jewel of Belfast. Dance by Candlelight. And it's by Irish street artist Connor Harrington and uh, it was painted in 2012 and it's in um, Hill Street and Hill Street is a sort of a street art centre um, along with North Street and uh, Library Street, Kent Street etc etc. Quite a number of pieces, um, large pieces, iconic pieces of street art. This is Exchange Place uh, that runs off Hill Street and this is a piece by a street artist with the tag name of Pang, P-A-N-G and it was painted in and around 2014 and it's called Whitewashing a Rembrandt and this is what often happens to street art. Um, you know, even good street art, uh, people who should know better and people who have no appreciation for this uh, type of work or understanding, they come along and they whitewash it. And therefore it's lost. If you want to find uh, Belfast street art, uh, don't expect to find it on all of the main streets. This is Talbot Street and it's a wee back alley. So you have to do a bit of exploring to find this uh, street art. This is the son of Prot Protogoras. That's the title. And it's by a guy called MTO. And it's, as I say, in Talbot Street. And it was painted possibly uh, 2013, 2014, I'm not sure. Um, and you can see it's a, a guy clutching a dove, the white dove of peace. And it's got two arrows in it. 
and the 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 reason behind this uh, piece of street art is obviously a reference to our uh, past violent history of conflict. The Dove of Peace getting a, a couple of arrows, presumably one from the loyalist community and one from the uh, folks in the IRA. Just to give you a better view of um, this large piece by MTO. I have to say that this uh, is one of my favourite pieces of Belfast street art. It's uh, again found on Talbot Street. It's painted in 2016. It's uh, done by a guy called Dan Kitchen and it's called Blurry Eyed. And the, uh, the excellent thing about this painting uh, was that I believe it was painted freehand uh, w without the use of stencils or guides. And um, um, many local artists have actually uh, copied this style and uh, they, they have painted similar paintings on canvas and uh, made prints out of them. Uh, I think it's, it's absolutely fabulous. Unfortunately you get uh, people coming along and adding their bits to the bottom of it there and uh, you know spoiling it. But it's still there and it's, it's a still an iconic piece of Belfast street art. This is a nice piece of street art um, reflecting the wildlife that you may encounter uh, in Northern Ireland. This is the Hers of Rathlin Island and it's on Castle Street um, and it's actually called the Golden Hers of Rathlin Island because there are uh, hers on Rathlin Island and there are uh, golden hers would you believe in amongst uh, the, the, the her population there. Now I've been up to Rathlin several times and uh, we didn't spot the golden hers. They're elusive but they are there um, and they do look golden. Um, some s sort of uh, genetic thing going on uh, with those hers and this uh, is a, a newer uh, piece of street art it's by Anatomics and it was painted in 2018. A smaller uh, sized piece of street art this time this is Deep Love I think that's quite good um, it's of a diver uh, in antique uh, diving gear carrying his newfound love, a mermaid. And it can be found uh, looking over the car park in Dunbar Street. As by A.D.W. Just another shot of that to show you size and position. We're on uh, Victoria Road to the left there and out to the right is High Street. So really we're talking about the junction of the two um, major roads in Belfast. This is Belfast Romances as by Leo Boyd and it's on the wall of the Bullet Hotel. Um, it was painted in 2019. And Leo Boyd has picked out some of his uh, favourite places and things from around Belfast. So you get the Albert Clock, you get uh, the City Hall, you get a DeLorean down in the bottom left. Uh, and one or two other bits and pieces. And I'm now over in uh, Gresham Street near North Street and this is another uh, what I would regard as Mecca for street art. There's street art all over the place around here but this is a significant piece um, and it's one of my favourite, all-time favourite pieces. Um, this is uh, Woman and Parrot 
by Colombian street artist Sancho Medina and it it was painted as part of the uh, 2018 Hit the North Festival and you know my words for it uh, would be colourful um, there's a certain exuberance about it it's flamboyant it's vibrant and it certainly uh, reminds you or it, it uh, leads you into all things South America and uh, the, the artist Sancho is from Colombia and uh, that's why we've got this uh, painting here and uh, it's three, three stories tall and it is absolutely fabulous and would you believe, would you believe that I have met Sancho Medina and t tried to uh, hold a conversation with him but uh, uh, that was a wee bit difficult because he was uh, he was speaking largely in I think it's Portuguese, um, if I remember right. Uh, but he's a lovely guy, lovely guy. He's, he's done several paintings uh, in this locality. There's one or two round the corner, but this this uh, painting in particular is absolutely fabulous. And uh, uh, all the street art that you saw in this video I have videoed it individually and I tried to give you a few details and what have you but uh, Belfast you know if you know where to look uh, the street art around Belfast is stunning these larger pieces will remain but the smaller pieces unfortunately uh, are very very quickly uh, painted over by other aspiring street artists and uh, you know uh, they don't last longer than maybe a year um, so that's why I'm trying to do these uh, these videos that, that I have done on the Belfast street arts scene so I uh, hope that has whetted your appetite uh, to investigate Belfast street art uh, a wee bit further whether it's on my channel or other people's channels or better still coming to Belfast and checking it out for yourself okay